Okay, some of you might get this problem with the LR launcher where it does not return and it like kind of is bust. Okay, just like take out all of the screws. I mean like all of them except For God's sake, it's not coming out. Hold on. What? Take that out. Just like get one of the, this thing out. However you do that again, it just gets annoying this bit. It's out now. Okay. Just push all those bits back there. Okay. Once you've got that, you um, just like make sure that's popped down, or else it you'll it'll fall everywhere. And you should take that off easily enough. And you get the inside. Okay. You get this little gear. Push it down. Get it out. Sometimes a bit of a struggle. And you just like unravel it all. Completely unravel it. Make sure it's all straight. If it's all, since it's all straight okay you notice it's like you got that little bit there where it's mainly and that okay that needs to be parallel to the top because it has that that little point which it clogs into to keep it in place and in the bottom it needs to be able to fit in that little square which is that Okay, what you do is, you get a little flat point, stick that in there, spin it around, by, some people say 10 to, no, 9 to 10, but I just do it until it feels like it starts to get a little bit thing. Okay, so we're, this is the hard part where you've got to get it in, but you want to get it in like that. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> as, as soon as you get it in, yeah, you want to keep, make sure you could put that in with the screw in so it's facing parallel. If it doesn't fit face parallel, it will not work and it will probably break again. After that, you just put your finger onto this little point and keep it firm. So that all just like put, goes back into place so it like works again. And that's where that works, like if you just push, pull that back you notice it works okay after you've got that get the piece again and gently put it on without it falling apart because if it falls apart you've got to redo it all over again get that piece and just stick it in okay you notice it's got, this has got loads of little ripples on the sides. These are two indents. Just make sure these little holes go like, um, just over these. Where you can see like a really weird, uh, let's say just say butt shape or whatever. Because um, then the things get in the holes so then it works properly. Just screw that in. The reason I can do this so swiftly, because you might have trouble, because the first time I spent 45 minutes trying to fix one of these. Um, but, this, the reason I'm good at it, is because I've, this has broke on me three times now. I am getting a new one to replace them. Okay, you've got to screw in these screws very tight, because if they're not tight enough, 
it will just fall out of place and it will, you won't um, you'll only get one rip out of it oh, I get about 16 minute and then it breaks again <laughs> Launch the suspensions, I reckon, would make it a little bit easier and not break, less vulnerable to breaking. Sorry, camera fell. Now it works again. With the cap off. A lot of people get these broken, and now just get a launcher. That is an L Drago launcher. You can just pop that in. Works fine. Next, gravity Perseus. Works fine. Uh, that's my, the end of the vid on the tutorial on how to fix the Bay Launcher LR. Um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and comment below if you want to. Bye.